action? Uh, historically, we'd sponsored it because of the Family Association with Walter Scott and because of my personal belief that Walter Scott is one of the great Scotsmen who is underrated. His uh, work in the early 19th century uh, effectively broke the mould of literature. He created the historical novel. Um, he was the world's first international bestseller. Um, and yet nowadays he's read relatively little, particularly in, in, in the United Kingdom. Um, and we wanted to uh, raise his name into the spotlight because his wonderful house, Abbotsford, uh, has recently been restored. But in doing that, um, we, we found that the historical novel as a genre rarely seems to get uh, the focus of attention that we felt it deserved. Uh, clearly what's happened in the last few years um, thanks to wonderful writers, I suppose, Hilary Mantel springs to mind immediately, but, but many others, has been that there's been a surge of interest in, in the historical novel. Um, it's hard to define, it covers a, a huge range, but uh, we hope that by putting a spotlight on it each year in the way we do through the prize, uh, we bring together um, a, a, a really interesting cross-selection of authors writing about history over several different centuries and writing beautifully, um, as I think Scott would have appreciated. I, I can only speak personally, um, having been historian at university, read history, always been interested in history, um, but always found that there is a stumbling block in the imaginative process, that uh, it's easy to become too obsessed about the dates and people and, and, um, and, and the facts, um, and to stop, uh, not to stop, to pause, to think about the lives, the characters of those people who made the history. And I think the great gift of a, of a, of a, a clever, wonderful writer um, is that they bring out the, the, the very human characteristics, um, at, which can sometimes explain the way events turn out, but in, in any case cast light on how people thought at a particular time. Um, I, I believe that um, we ignore the lessons of history at our peril and we understand history better if we try and see it through um, how contemporaries would have, would have seen it. And, uh, and historical novelists really, I think, if they are, if they are very skillful, manage to do that. Oh, welcome. Please do come. You're coming to the most beautiful part of the world. Um, obviously, I am biased, but uh, Sir Walter Scott uh, thought as much and, and, it, and it inspired a lot of his writing. And what you do to, is to come to a, a, a very small, uh, very special festival. It's um, uh, hemmed in uh, uh, by, by the wonderful Garden Walls of Harmony House, which, it, um, which it's held in. Um, with a great scenic backdrock of the Eildon Hills and Melrose Abbey. So it, it, you have a sense of living with history. Uh, and what you'll have, we hope this year again, is um, a, a group of our shortlist authors who will take the stage, who will talk about their uh, work. Um, and inevitably with a prize there is a moment of truth uh, which uh, um, it brings with it uh, drama, raised expectations, disappointment and so on. But somehow at the end of it, um, both writers and audience seem to be together in, in celebrating the great festival of, of wonderful books. Um, it's a very special memorable occasion, so please do come and join us.